Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, real quick, I just want to apologize right off the bat. Um, as you can tell, the quality of this video is not the best. I am going off of my webcam camera on my iMac. Um, I was trying to record today and I realized that my camera was out of battery and my backup isn't working right now. And I don't really have a lot of time to film today, but I want to make sure that I get it done um, just because my schedule has been a little crazy lately. Um, I believe that I have finally found my calling. Um, thank you guys so much for your response on my last video about Stray Kids. I think it was really well received. Um, a lot of you guys had really interesting things to say in the comments, so I just want to say thank you again. And that situation was never really resolved. Um, it's still kind of ongoing. I can do a video at a later date if you guys would like, um, but there just isn't a lot to conclude with. So that's why I haven't really made a video about it yet. But another week, another drama in the K-pop community. Now, last weekend, I had the privilege, the absolute privilege, to see BTS live for the first time at the Rose Bowl. Um, it was my first ever K-pop concert. Um, it was my first time going to Los Angeles area. It was so much fun. I had a blast. But amongst all of this, so I went on Sunday. Obviously, the concert happened on Saturday first and then Sunday. Um, so I was trying to stay off Twitter on Saturday because I wanted the concert to remain a surprise to me as much as possible. Um, but when I was on Twitter on Sunday trying to figure out, you know, when the merch was going to open up, um, when people were going to be able to get into the venue um, for the concert, I saw a lot of drama about NCT and um, my little actually was talking to me about it. She was like, oh, I'm just like, I'm just here following all the drama about NCT. And I was like, oh yeah, like I saw something about that. Um, and I didn't really look more into it until I was coming home on Tuesday. Um, just because like I said, I was trying to stay off of Twitter as much as possible over the weekend. But what happened, you guys, was kind of insane. And, you know, I think about stuff like this happening to major idols um, all the time. But, you know, I never really thought that these things would happen or, you know, be allowed to happen. But basically, let me give you the rundown of the situation. So while NCT was touring in Houston, apparently they stayed at a hotel that um, a lot of other fans were staying at. Um, I'm not super experienced in the world of K-pop, but if I, you know, was a company, I would want to make sure that I put my idols in a hotel that isn't going to be populated by many fans. Does that make sense? Anyway, so that, first of all, kind of blew my mind because people were able to figure out that, um, NCT was staying near them very quickly, um, because their tour bus was parked in the parking lot, right? So... Um, I'm gonna insert a video here, but basically there was footage going around of one of the bus operators, or I'm assuming the bus operators, opening up the bottom of the charter bus and allowing families, fans, etc. to go through the luggage of the members of NCT. Um, other than that, there was also even more alarming. There was screenshots of someone's Snapchat story where they were somehow given access to go onto the tour bus of NCT and go through their things. Um, I guess these fans ended up making some members beds. Um, whew, like <laughs> there's a lot to unpack here, right? This is, um, I'm going to put up the screenshot here, but this is the, one of the Snapchats or Insta stories, whatever it is that came out of this person who was able to somehow get onto the bus. It says, bro, so like I'm staying at the same hotel as NCT and I kind of like low-key want to cry and die because I'm in the same building as them and I don't know how I'm going to survive knowing that I'm literally in the same building as them and that they were breathing the same air. Please somebody suffocate me. And there, I think the video has since been deleted. At least I hope it's been deleted. Um, for the sake of the person who was probably getting all of this hate. Um, there was a video of these two um, people literally on the bus and videoing the bus. Um, 
And I just have a lot of thoughts. Um, and I'm, I like NCT, but I wouldn't say that I stand them. Um, I don't know enough about them to say that I stand them. But it's like crazy to me that a company wouldn't care about the safety of their idols that much. Um, and you know, it might, it probably has nothing to do with the company. It's probably just that they hired the wrong people and the people that they hired clearly don't understand the situation that they put um, these idols in. And it's just kind of crazy to me. Like, first of all, how, you know, stan culture is really interesting to me because they, you know, like K-pop stands really, really are super passionate about their idols that they like. And it's really kind of unlike any other fan base. They really just go so hard. Like, um, I experienced this at the BTS concert. Like I said, it was my first time going to a K-pop concert and it was by far the most energy that I've ever felt in a concert. You know, every seat was full. Um, at least in my section and from what I could see from the other sections around I could not find an empty seat and everyone was screaming I, I saw a lot of videos of people like sobbing and it was just so intense like these people really really love their idols which is good but to take it to the point where you kind of lose morality and don't consider that you know these people are just that, they're people at the end of the day, and you don't realize, hey, you know, this is kind of gross what I'm doing, like, maybe I shouldn't listen to this person who's telling me that I can go on their tour bus and rummage through their things, maybe I should respect them enough and myself enough to not do that, um, but clearly that type of thinking was lost with these people. So the person who originally posted the videos um, going onto NCT's bus, um, is this user and they've since deactivated which I think is probably for the best they you know they were probably getting a lot of hate um, but for the the first couple of tweets I'm just gonna read them out these were the first kind of tweets that I saw about the situation this one says not only did the user go inside the NCT tour bus with her friends and touch their beds parentheses which is super creepy they have also been sharing NCT's hotel information and they don't seem apologetic about it. Please report and unfollow. Another person said, Y'all my oomph called the venue and security already contacted SM, which is, um, for you, those of you who don't know, it's the company that manages NCT. And they told the boys and they're not letting that bitch in the venue. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really funny to me. And then they said, we won. Another person said, the girl who broke into the NCT bus is a motherfucking liar because me and my IRL friend were on our way to the bus to take a pic and we saw them coming out and I swear there was no bus driver, LMFAO. So from what I gathered, this person, you know, snuck onto the bus, made their beds, posted about it, and I don't know, I don't know why you would think, if I ever, not saying that I would, but if I was ever in a situation where I got to do something exclusive, like, go... It's so tough because, you know, personally, I would never go onto someone's tour bus without the consent of the actual group, right? But what I'm saying is that it, like, since you were given permission to go on there, like, wouldn't that be enough for you just to have that memory? Like, how could you be so stupid to brag about it on social media when you know these days how fast things can spread and especially with how prominent cancel culture is lately. I just think that it was really silly for this person to post about it online because what did they expect to happen? Like clearly the fans were going to be upset. Number one, because it's an invasion of privacy. Number two, some of them were probably jealous. Um, and it's just, like, it really just blows my mind. Like, I, I try to take into consideration that a lot of the people who stand K-pop are a lot younger than me. Um, you know, I'm turning 22 in a couple of weeks, and I feel like the majority of K-pop fans 
are between the ages of like 11 and 18. I know there are a lot of older fans as well, like fans that are even older than me, but I feel like we're the majority and you know, it can be hard for younger people to understand the weight of their decisions and you know they we even myself still I'm still young I don't want to act like I'm a fully grown adult um but you know a lot of the times younger people think in the moment and don't really consider what can happen in the future um but I'm really just going on a tangent here but I just think it's hilarious that this person clearly was there was police activity um I found a tweet of outside of the concert venue There's literally police outside, um, as this tweet said. Someone told the boys, and they got in contact with the police, which I think is amazing. Like, you know, obviously legal action should be taken on that. Another part of the conversation that I found was really interesting. I found a thread talking about SM and how, you know, their management has been kind of questionable, especially with NCT um, on their recent global tour. Um, it says, this is not how you treat your artists. Mess after mess, you have been part of the problem allowing fans to cross ridiculous boundaries. NCT 127 are not a circus attraction. This is just a screenshot of a thread and unfortunately I don't have, um, access to the original thread at the moment, but it was, I think it's the same video actually of that one bus driver letting people go under the bottom of the bus and look through their stuff um but someone was replying to it what the fuck is going on someone else responded man i don't know the driver keeps going in the bus with different people and um another screenshot of a tweet regarding the situation one of my best friends said this also happened in phoenix too um and that was replying to a screenshot of a message sm literally sucks and allows all that tour bus stuff Like, they were inviting fans onto the tour bus in Phoenix, and I assume other places too. And, you know, like I said earlier, um, it may be the company's fault, or it may be some kind of miscommunication. Like, like I said, I'm not the biggest K-pop expert. I'm trying to learn as much as I can when these issues arise, but I'm more inclined to feel like it's some kind of miscommunication, maybe something lost in translation between the people that they're hiring for this tour and SM because I don't think SM would deliberately allow this kind of treatment for NCT, especially because NCT is so successful right now. But when this happened, I found it very interesting because over the course of NCT's North American tour, I've seen a lot of videos of people interacting with NCT in public and maybe this is because I'm newer to K-pop but it really just blew my mind because this is kind of the first situation where I've seen the idols be so interactive with their fans out in public um when they were in New York I think is when I saw the most activity between them and the fans um fans it looked like they were shooting some kind of video and the fans were going up to them while they were shooting and saying hi and sometimes the idols, the, sometimes the artists would say hi back and sometimes they would just laugh and it seemed kind of awkward. They would be walking on the road and people were filming them and trying to talk to them. And for the most part, they were pretty nice about it. And um, that was the general consensus that I was seeing on Twitter. Um, but it was just really like crazy to me. So the plot thickens because not only were some fans allowed onto the bus without the permission of NCT. But I also saw this thing going around of this girl who literally was invited to Johnny's house. So I see that this girl apparently was invited to Johnny's house. And um, I see this tweet that said, even though she was invited, she act as a whole fangirl rather than a guest. I believe that um, this person on social media said that she was at the house for four hours. Johnny hasn't been home for so long. This reunion was supposed to be a family gathering, not a meet and greet. She could have at least avoided posting. I hope the boys still got to enjoy their time. Okay, so I found more information, thank God. So um, here's one tweet and it says, no, you can't be serious, right? Clearly some NC citizens, NC citizen. 
I don't know what you guys call your fandom. I'm literally such a fake fan right now. But some NCT stands don't know what privacy is. That's literally Johnny's house. Why? He deserves some privacy even if the girl's mom knew Johnny's mom. This is so little selfish. Knowing that he probably wants some space. And y'all shouldn't have gone to their house. Like, I don't know what the whole story is. But this thing is just weird. I also read the other girl's tweet saying that she was invited by one of the girls to go as well. Even if they asked, you should have said no. In as usual NCT stands, you should know that they are tired and they would also like to rest in privacy with their family. This honestly shouldn't have happened. First, y'all want to break into their bus, which is like their second home, and now y'all want to go to their house? Like, what? This ain't no fanfic. You're not YN. Calm your tits, please. Give Johnny and the members some privacy. Go away, ew. Um, and yeah, they also said, wow, I can't believe she was literally there for three whole ass hours. Um, so yeah, this thread kind of really sums it all up. Um, here inside this thread, there is a screenshot of one of the one of the girls who was at the house, this is something that she posted regarding the situation. Just so you know, I wasn't stalking them. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. But I was invited with my friend through her mom knowing Johnny's mom. I remember this tweet now because I remember seeing her say, I don't know how to explain it. And I'm just like, well, explain it. Like, if you're not stalking them, then what are you? Um, so yeah, I was invited, but I was invited with my friend through her mom knowing Johnny's mom. They were all nice and patient enough to take pictures with me, along with the people who were there. So, and this thread included some pictures that they took while they were there. Um, her and I guess there were a couple other fans that were there for some reason. Um, I'm confused as to why this has happened, and I feel really bad for NCT... It seems like they don't really get a lot of private time while they're touring. So regarding this house situation, it really just blows my mind. Like if you were invited to the house through some kind of mutual friend, fine. But if that was the case, shouldn't you act like a normal person instead of a fan? I mean, if you have the honor of going to these people's home and spending time with them, I feel like the least you should do while you're there is act like they're normal people, not wear their tour merch over there, ask them to take pictures with you, you know, maybe just act like they're normal, I don't know. I feel like that would have been more of an appropriate thing to do. And especially, you probably shouldn't have posted it on the internet for everyone to see because again, like I said with the bus situation, people are gonna think it's offensive and people are gonna be jealous about it. So. The least you could do is keep it to yourself. Why would you ruin this moment for yourself by posting it on social media and then in turn getting all of this backlash? Like, it would have been much easier for you to just live with this happy memory than to destroy it by trying to brag about it. My final thoughts on this is just that I really think that sometimes K-pop fans need to take a step back. Like, it's been kind of like a tradition for a very long time for people to kind of like find out where their favorite idols are flying into and going to the airport and trying to take videos of them and trying to get them to sign things and trying to talk to them. And it's like these people, especially when they're coming to America, they've spent so long traveling. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want to sign anything. They don't want cameras in their face. Like. I just don't understand why you, why, not you, I just don't understand why these fans can't have enough respect and decency to give idols space and it's just kind of crazy to me because from the videos that I see, especially at the airports um, of groups like this, their management doesn't really seem to care and I feel like it's so much different than American celebrities, you know. American celebrities have bodyguards, and um, even though paparazzi is so common in America, um, opposed to fan sites which are popular with K-pop artists, their bodyguards will push the paparazzi away and, like, you know, help get the celebrities to safety and help them get into their cars. And I feel like a lot of times idols are just, they're just there, and their management doesn't help protect them that much. Um, 
and I I wish that it wasn't like that, you know, like I feel bad for them and you know, they worked so hard and I feel like the least that the least the fans could do was show them some respect and I feel like almost a better way to show your love and support for an idol is to respect their privacy, you know, like acknowledge that they're working hard and instead of trying to cheat the system to get close to them and invade their privacy, maybe just go to their concert, cheer for them, buy their CDs, buy their merch, this, that, and the other, but don't go out of your way to do something gross like these people did. So yeah, that was my thoughts today. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I always say, please leave comments below, talk about your feelings. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you all later.